If we've known Hi, I'm Ken Jung. I'm Allison Bree. Joel McHale. Dan Harmon. Dan Guterman. I'm Tristram Shapiro. Boo! Screw and we you. are. We are the shittiest Voltron. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. If we sing on this, do they have to pay for the rights to the? Yes. 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 Oh. Didn't they tell you no singing or humming or anything? Okay. Also, I'm not supposed to be on this commentary, but I was here, so I'm just doing it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you're such a rogue. I'm crazy. You're almost. Wait, literally... I'm in this episode. Hey. hey. <laughs> I think this is the this is the longest you're in it, right? This scene. Yeah, I, think <laughs> so I, right. Two more I have a lot to It'll say. Nice. It'll be nice to get an outsider's perspective it's of the a, episode. It's the old outsider's perspective. <laughs> shut up, Tristram. <laughs> no, shut up, Macau. I really like this episode because I've always, you know, ever since we did the pilot with John Oliver, I've always, I've always thought there was a nice Harold Ramis, Bill Murray in Stripes relationship between Jeff Winger, who is named after Bill Murray's character in Stripes, and uh, uh, Harold Ramis' character in Stripes. I don't know if that sentence ended making sense <laughs> at all. <laughs> I always thought that Duncan and Winger were, you know, kind of like Ramis and Murray and Stripes, and I, I like that buddy. So, so, yeah, I don't know. Typically, when you see guys being buddies in TV and movies, it's 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 a it's it's a, yeah, it's too broy, too fratty. I, I, I these guys are definitely unrepentant, sex-driven, booze-driven assholes, but yeah, they're my kind. I I, I like it better than. They're not so Miller oh, Lite party one, ball. The best part about being on set was seeing Joel and Oliver <laughs> continue to riff in character between takes. <laughs> we were never in character. <laughs> Real. <laughs> Too bad about John's career. <laughs> John, not John. worked out for him at all. Yeah. I know, all those billboards you see, I saw him <laughs> in driving in. Yeah, I thought it was an Amber Alert. It's actually trivia, like, uh, John Oliver's contract with what is it, HBO? Yeah. Yep. Like, for some reason, I don't know if it's by choice or just some horrible misfortune of his, the only show other than this HBO show that he could do is Community, contractually. Yes! yes. <laughs> and, Hol and Hollywood Game Night. I don't think that's I don't think that's because he said, Oh wait, I have one stipulation. Oh, could you please make room for community? Uh, uh, I, I, th I think it was like him looking at a Sony contract and going, What in the fuck? <laughs> yeah, we got you, buddy. That's so nope, there we just our characters just left to go have McDonald's. Oh my God. So this You're set really was promoting uh, your yeah. This set was in the uh, in the student lounge, was it not? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. For those that are interested. Uh, this wow. Now, I know I pointed this out <laughs> Thanks, before in the last three years of commentary, but if you notice, we never go outside. I <laughs> know, we, we don't. don't. We did in the first season. Uh, it, yeah, company moves are difficult. <laughs> I, if we were to tone down our antics, if we would stop doing shit like this, this is indoors. Beautiful. That this, yeah, this, this is, is one of the beautiful best things. I love this Chang story. Oh, oh it's gosh. the best. It's a, it's that was a, a great, I mean, that was a really well-timed orbiting shot Tristram, I'm not being Thank glib. You, Dan. Yeah, Thank I, you. It's really, we, I, I get really it's lucky once in a while. When uh, <laughs> what? when I'm not in control of the timing of something in the edit bay, I start get, I'm like, oh, God damn it, the fucking director thought you could pan and pull and <laughs> right. the joke's gotta land, it's, gotta, it's down to a nanosecond, but that was a really nicely timed. Oh, thank you. That storyline is one of my favorites. Yeah, it, of, it's really good. That, yeah. It's so like good. a perfect, it, it's like a, it's yeah. a diamond. Yeah. It's like a flawless diamond. Yeah. So that's not Eric Wareheim. <sighs> yes, it is. <laughs> what I got? That's actually a friend of my fiance's, which I didn't know when we cast him. I, 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 I it was a completely independent thing. That's one of the benefits of uh, face blindness. Is I, one of the, <laughs> one of the detriments is I introduced myself to him on set, and he yeah. kept giving me this strange look, <laughs> which turned out later to be, um, I've been to your house I mean, eight <laughs> times, and you're introducing yourself and talking to me about the show and like, 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 like thanking me for auditioning. What the show is. <laughs> I, are you sure it's face blind? Because I suffer the same thing. I like to call it Ask. alcohol recovery from uh, yeah, I mean, the I, next day. Yeah. And the Asian friend is Alex Rubin's wife, right? Yeah, Emily. yeah. Which uh, again, oh, in another instance of racism slash face blindness, I I said I said like I get I, I like I like her, and then and then Rubens is like, okay, cool, because I, I didn't know you know having your wife is like, oh, that's your wife, racist. <laughs> but 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 go home and congratulate her, tell her how racist I am because it means she's a great actor. <laughs> she did great. Oh, here we go. Gosh, it would be great if Gillian was here. <laughs> I feel I'd be staring like at Allie. She nailed this part. She really did. As as 
as the what female you... representative of the right, cast in right. this commentary. Are you are, are you, you going to say anything after cat? that? Are I you, would like. <laughs> it seems like you're about to make a statement, but then you yeah. just your mouth open and then nothing came out. <laughs> oh, look at this new scene. Uh, this... <laughs> so we should talk about Danny Pudi's Mark Hamill esque <gasps> injuries. So the day that they were supposed to, we were shooting this episode, the start of this episode, Danny was running, was jogging, and fell and smashed his nose, broke his nose, and had to literally broke his nose. Broke his nose, had to go to the emergency room, get stitches on the top of his nose. And you can, um, and that's why Pam Yuyubo O'Brien is such a genius because our she was head able, of our makeup department. Uh, she, after not even that much time, figured out how to cover it and also make it look like the swelling. Literally, was. and by by not even that much time, we mean like what two days? Or did we yeah, yeah, yeah. some of the was, stuff the next week? You can, if you listen closely, you can tell, like you can hear in his Danny's voice that his face is, is fucked up, <laughs> that his that yeah. his the interior passages of his face are still healing from a yeah. car accident level. Injury, and if yeah. you look at, and the great thing is that he's in scenes with Jonathan Banks, whose nose. Look at that. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on there? That's actually CG. Uh, <laughs> Jonathan Banks' nose was that uh, we had to yeah. do that because originally it's a Nike logo tattoo. <laughs> He, which he had done uh, inexplicably after uh, oh. he just he just loved a certain pair of shoes. That he, that he had. Do you remember the old uh, king uh, in Braveheart who had, was like covered with bubonic plague and he kept telling his son he needed to betray Braveheart? I do. <laughs> no. I don't. All right. Well, that's what he looks like. I, I love that some dialogue in Braveheart actually involves some people saying Braveheart. <laughs> you gotta go against Braveheart. Braveheart. This Braveheart's in the papers again. I want him. I'm rubbing him out. Ah, uh, there's Jonathan Banks and his beautiful voice. So, Joel, tell us how, if this was you in the scene, how you would have prepared for this 10-page, <laughs> 10 10-page oh. day. Oh, here's what I would have done. What I would have done? lost, uh, I would have got, tried to get out of shape immediately. <laughs> um, I would have had to chop my legs in half. <laughs> Uh, what about the wardrobe? The wardrobe? The wardrobe? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. boy, that would have been the hardest part, yeah. having to wear that shirt. <laughs> that looks like a Tristram Shapiro number four. <laughs> <laughs> Not many people know this. I did clothe Jonathan Banks for this entire if series. If you could see what Tristram is wearing right now. <laughs> I've never seen his pajamas are buttoned. It's like a button-down shirt pajama. <laughs> That he wears, it's he's a never nude. Uh, he's extremely <laughs> fashionable. <laughs> One of the riddles I'll go to my grave trying to solve is how I, I every time I open my mouth, I'm walking through a minefield. I have to just accept uh, people are going to think you're a troll. <laughs> uh, like, like, it might better to be honest than be likable. And Joel McHale's entire career is based on like, like. <laughs> Everyone loves him, and all he does is call people short, <laughs> ugly, yeah, yeah. and bad at dressing. And like, like, like no yeah. one ever goes like. That, jo, jo, no wait a minute, one. Joel's a Joel's I, being a dick. I feel like I'm no. not. I feel like, to, like today, right. Dan, when you sat down, right. I was like, congratulations <laughs> on being slightly closer to the table. <laughs> that you can actually scoot in now. Did you? Are you walking more these days? No one. No. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I never say anything like that to Ken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you're really nice to him. Yeah. So nice. But when Ken has his shirt off, it does look like a fish is swimming towards you. <laughs> I mean, is, if you look at him, or Donald said it looked like a melting alien. A melting alien, I think. Yeah, I think Donald called me a melting Christ. alien. That was years ago. That was year one. Years that was year ago. one. <laughs> Uh, so this storyline again, I think this is like a little bit of a, it's like like trying to find trying to find stuff to do for Chang that that's like I don't know simultaneously not just dismissing the fact that he's the nuts guy, but also like giving Ken stuff to do that's like you know and it almost interesting. didn't make it into the episode, right? We really? Have, oh, really? Yeah. This storyline, we wow. we cut down the other two or try to oh, compact yeah. them to wow. make room for. I, I, it's it's one of the you could just l like yeah. Tom Cruise's performance in Magnolia, you can just lift that whole thing out and be like, that is a perfect little show, <laughs> right there. Yeah, it was it was such a beautiful art. What? It was beautiful. I mean, it, I was just, <laughs> I was just yelling at him. It was like, it was, uh, it was, <laughs> you sound like Johnny Depp in an interview. <laughs> I'm real excited about this movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I get it now. now I'm, I'm, I'm watching Joel and I'm on the screen and I'm going, God damn it, so fucking handsome. Oh, and now, yeah. and now, 
So now I understand why you hate ugly people. Yeah. Because you, 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 you yeah. work hard at this. Look mm -hmm. at this chiseled fucking <laughs> frame. No, that's DNA. I can't help with <laughs> facial bone structure, which is God given. I can't help facial I can't. bone structure. I, I, uh, but no, you're right. I'm in great shape. <laughs> <laughs> so you look, you look at the rest of us and you go like, fuck him. Right. Fuck him for not putting in the time. Right. No, it's more pity than, uh, than it's turned, it used to be anger. And now it's just turned to like a disappointed parent. <laughs> Who would like, why isn't my mom yelling at me? She's just disappointed. It makes it worse. <laughs> no, it's desperation. I'm just desperate. Vain. Uh, and um, I like being around gay men at the gym all the time. You, uh, yeah, you That's, take, yeah. It's great. I'm not kidding. <sighs> I'm not, I, I, They keep I you in better shape because they're I, but in such good shape. Speaking of great shape, Allison exercises all the time. I'm not looking at you, Ken. <laughs> I, I thought you were looking at me That's for a second. That's totally a compliment. You're just, she exercises all the time. She doesn't look great, but she's certainly putting in some kind of work. Allison is just a plot she device for another zing at me. Yeah. <laughs> I was just using it as a MacGuffin. I'm behind a zing. Zing. I can zing. So I just want to say uh, um, well done to Danny and yeah. to Jonathan yeah. for these scenes that yes. they did so And these are Dino's drawings. Which they shot. Oh, well, they, nice. they we're coming up on the, the scene hell? that was shot twice, right? Like, right. We, we, yeah, yeah. And it, it yeah, I. I it was uh, shot twice. Well, we ab it, not. That's not strictly true. It was that we aborted. We aborted. Well, all right. We were starting to run through yeah. it, and then it was and getting late, and it was yeah. like, you know what? The actors are tired. We need to really nail the scene. I more more than anything, this season, this episode really is. Uh, it's 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 a it's sort of a spiritual sequel to the Troy's birthday mm -hmm. episode when Mythology. they all go to the bar. It's yeah. it's it and not because it involves drinking, but just because I, I it it it's. It, um, it just has that taxi feel. This the, the I, I always think of, uh, or my memory of the series Taxi, like like the, uh, the experiment with Taxi was often like, uh, right, well, what if these two people were just locked in a room together? Yeah, you know, it was it it, it 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 didn't really bother to get conceptual. On one end of the spectrum, you have Moonlighting and the season where. <laughs> David Addison is playing himself as a baby that's about to be miscarried, doing a tap dance in uh, a, a black box theater that represents uh, uh, Sybil Shepherd's womb. Uh, wow! And the whole thing is done in black and white. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you have Taxi, which is just like, ah, eh, yeah, this, Danny DeVito's just driving this kid across town, and she's giving him a hard time. Yeah. Uh, and I, I want to do it all. All right. I shout think, out! To, shout out! All right. To that, shout out to that janitor who is. Yeah, no, fuck that nailed guy. every fuck yeah. that guy. Fuck Oof. that guy. Yeah, and Ken, that was that was like two minutes ago. No one even remembers. Do you know how out of shape that guy is? Yeah. Yo, uh, oh, I'm amazed he's alive. Like I was, I was like, did he animate a corpse to get him? <laughs> he just bring in a corpse and electrify it for the audition. <laughs> David Schroeder is his name. His name, <laughs> is, his name is David Schroeder. I met him. He was David very nice. David Schroeder is David his name. <laughs> it was pretty uh, hard. Tristram played that a lot classier than a vet who would have that guy's name on a list and, and just go would, like, and she would I just want to let you know that David Schroeder is a wonderful person. And uh, uh, like, like she's reading it on a piece of paper in front of her. She would look up his IMDb. You know. It was very, very considerate. But Passive, aggressive. And considerate. <laughs> yes, well, <laughs> nonetheless considerate. So this is, this is one of the... One of, this I, was the I, scene I, that I, we uh, reboot. Um, yeah, we, 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 we restarted this on a different day because the actors were tired and this was so important. I love this fucking scene so much. I, I This is like... It, Danny it, was amazing. It, he nailed like, it. it the, the Abed, like, this is where... Like and with a broken nose, where you find out that Abed, of course, like it's not—he's not R two D two. He doesn't—he's not cute all the time. He's got a—he's a fucking asshole. <laughs> like Abed wants to go to the movie and tells this guy that he's talented because he knows that that's what he needs to hear so he can get to the movie on time. And and then when his bluff is called, he goes berserk. And with the loss of uh, that's yeah, with the loss of Troy. Now I like all the stuff that I mean. Danny got to. The, it was just this great. Like, what do you what do you do I, yeah, when you lose yeah. your best friend? And it's just a. I thought it was because so great. Sheldon Cooper eventually has to turn fifty. You can't just you, know, you can't just establish a character and say, oh, he's this way, he's that way. You, you, people binge watch seasons and they grow old as they're watching the, the show. Yeah. Like we can't. We, we're not working in a timeless vacuum anymore. Like I like the idea that Abed 
is can be Abed and can go from being 20 to 25 to 28, you know? Yeah. Uh, sorry if you don't like it. Who, you, you, whoa. You, you didn't watch anyway. Who Holy crap. Who is Sheldon Cooper? <laughs> Isn't that the name of the Big Bang booger guy? Oh. <laughs> Bazinga? Yeah. Bazinga Johnson? What's his name? Bazinga Johnson. What? What the hell? I think Bazinga Johnson was on Perfect Strangers. Was it not Sheldon Cooper? Maybe it is. You know, why would I know his I name? Know, we... Okay, so this car, <laughs> just so you know, is parked in the, uh, in the cafeteria. Yeah. It's parked in my office. And there's a guy just standing <laughs> holding that light. <laughs> like, probably, uh, literally. Moody, Moody's just holding the light. In yeah. the but you That's see a lot in, in sitcom, single camera sitcoms these days. You see when they're in, when they are in cars. So, sometimes you'll see a fancy uh, the effect that they got towed. They got towed down the road. So it looks yeah. all real. And a lot of times it's like, okay, green screens made great advancements, so let's just green screen it. I I, I get really distracted by the green screen stuff. So this is called poor man's green screen, right, Tristram? Poor man's process. Not that yeah. you know anything about poor it's men. It's better because... You <laughs> British fuck. Whoa. Oh. That country's loaded. The whole time, like, they, Tristram... They built the Death Star. <laughs> It's true. Tristram's is bristling because of the, where the wheels located in this car. Uh, well, I have to say, what wasn't it? Uh, I can't figure what was the car. I can't remember what the car was. This was? It was a it was a British sports car, wasn't it? This one, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a what was it? it was a Barclays Roadster Ace. No, it wasn't because that doesn't exist. Uh, you just made that up. <laughs> Never mind. I think it was the one that uh, Sean Connery used in. Um, where are we going? And Doctor No. No, I think Thunderball. Hmm. Well, Guterman, what do you do uh, for for a living? <laughs> I'm working for Shut you up. again. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. I just don't want him to talk the entire time. <laughs> now, there's so much heart in this. Guterman worked on the Onion right when he was like 12. It's a sweet scene. And then he came over to work on Community. Thank yeah, you. Onion Colbert. And then oh yeah, Colbert. We took him from Colbert. Nothing worked out for that guy. And Colbert said, yes. Guterman, I don't want to see you go, but I fucking love community. God damn it, it makes my Colbert dick so hard. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> I'm comedy royalty, and I fucking... Oh, if you're going to go anywhere, at least go to Dan Harmon. I fucking love him. I'm going to describe to you the position that Dan is in right now. Reading from a transcript. He has uh, stuffed his penis into a mic socket. Uh, and Tristram, really... you said you just shot Tina Fey's pilot, and Tina Fey was saying how much she loved community. <laughs> she did. She loves community. Did she, was she able to reference specific things? Oh, no, it she, wasn't. She wouldn't, it wasn't she wouldn't have stood up to the Joel McHale. Yeah, the Joel McHale's litmus test. Oh, you should have seen at the uh, at that Bailey Fest some of the reporters. So, you excited? Yes, I am. Joel likes to hassle reporters <laughs> who yeah. have not Look, seen the show. I don't. If I'm yeah, yeah, just yeah, in a random, to pretend that they know and ask I don't general expect them questions. to know a ton. Look, if yeah. they're there specifically for the show, they should have done a little research. And if they actually visit the set, they definitely should have watched the episode. We, we do get a surprising number of reporters visiting the set mm -hmm. constantly Thanks, that come in in our fifth season and ask, what's it like working on a show about a community college? And be like, so <laughs> your character's a lawyer a who lawyer. has to go back to school. Yeah. <laughs> then, oh, that's it. Then, then, I, then I just start making things up. <laughs> then I will describe Modern Family to them. And they will go, oh, that sounds oh, great. Wow. It sounds really funny. And then Jesse Tyler, Tyler Ferguson, he's great <laughs> on the show. And they don't bat an eye. It's great. You know what? I have a I have a pet peeve. Uh, uh, Chris McKenna <laughs> is texting from. He's saying what. Stop talking Chris about Chris is that. texting what Shrab is saying in the <laughs> thankfully sound sealed room. Shrab 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 undermine Shrab. That's his middle name. He has two last names. a great time. <sighs> well, he did make a mistake about what he wore on his head today. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> you know what? I, you know what? You know what pisses me off since we're talking about those first world problems with the press, is when somebody from like Swimmers Weekly was like, like oh, we're doing a piece on community. Oh, fine. Hey, look, I, I want to promote the show. And then they, 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 they have a big long conversation with you and you, you talk to Swimmers Weekly for 90 minutes and you don't expect it to be any more than a, like a little corner. Like, like, so Joel swims on this episode. Yeah, he does. But then they go like, holy shit, this is weird. This guy's so drunk and babbly. And they just print the fucking transcript. Uh, like, 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 they just go like, go, go over here to Swimmers Weekly online and it's just your fucking bad 
badly spelled <laughs> transcript that they put through Google Google Transcribe, There's and it's just no me going like, uh, yeah, crackers are like black people. I mean, I don't mean that. I mean, strike that from the record, but uh, surely like, black people are crackers, but uh, crackers are uh, crackers like, are hard. Uh, and, uh, it's hard to be black. And, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, not that race has anything to do with it. Uh, so anyways, yeah, it was good to get a fifth season. Like, everything is just, they just lay it out there, and then, uh, fuck it. I don't like it. <laughs> I agree. Here's the big reveal. Uh, here it is. That's not a real song. Don't worry. I got this. Messy hair means crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, then today you're uh, you're really off your. Front. You still look like this. You still look like this. Oh, what? <laughs> All right, so we struggled Go. with this for a while. This photo kills so we were, me. It's we were, so we kept, amazing. We, you know, we weren't quite sure what we were doing with this. Are, 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 it was are, a, the Shining moment? Yeah, no, it's, I it's thought like it was the like, Shining. It's but a Cujo reference, I think. Those are all the writers. All and the then, writers. Uh, and then right then, here. But then right here. <laughs> <laughs> I was shocked when I saw the episode and look at the Jim. date on the photo was revealed because yeah. I didn't no know look. that we were going well, for we it. Well, we were right. waiting yeah. on yeah. the no date. Boom. Is this, I don't know. We also talked about an option where it would be like old timey photo club 1973. Yeah, yeah. So it we, was still old were, but not it wasn't as old. Quite as old. Yeah. Yeah. There were 80 versions of that joke. Uh, this is amazing. Yeah, Again, is amazing. props to Tristram. Yeah. Did you shoot this, or was this a? I did shoot this. Yes. No, I think we got we got an, uh, uh, Crystal the monkey shot. This I went like nowhere that. near this set. I don't know who went down there. I, I can't remember who which writer went down there just to make sure that this. Uh, who, I was there. McKenna That's was there too. This is fucking tag. nailed shot. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Like not easy to say the joke is that they say nothing. I, incredible. 